think creative creative writing, um, you know, the urge to tell stories, the um, the impetus for telling beautiful truth in like nonfiction or to put language on its feet in dramatic roles um, or or you know to break language into its speech and its silence in poetry um, it's really vibrant at Washington College I mean I, I've taught at a large state school um, in upstate New York first generation uh, students whose whose parents um, you know, made make their living. You know, with their hands, oh. and and those students had never really been told that they could make something beautiful um, with their with their heads. You know, mm. and that was a that was a pleasure. But they had no concept that they could make their lives in the mind. You know, that's not true about Washington College students. They they have a sense of that. Um, so you don't have to, you know, there's no, there's no sell about it. They, they're passionate. Um, they have old souls. They're curious. Yeah. Um, this isn't, you know, always the, the case at, um, at larger schools yeah. or technical schools or, yeah. you know, those kinds of things. Yeah. yeah. So then they ask, and parents ask this. I think once, or around the, maybe the senior year, they ask, well, so now what can I do with this, right? But as you know, um, and as a lot of people know, uh, if you're good with language, if you're good with words, you're good with your life. <laughs> you know, you yeah. can make a living yeah. um, communicating with people because it's it's it is an art um, that is in demand. Yeah. Literature right now is so diverse. There are many channels, um, and so if you land on a channel and they're not singing something you like. You can change the channel and find something very easily yeah. that you right. like. I was a uh, in grad school. I was a poetry buyer for an independent bookstore, uh, literary bookstore in Houston, and, um, and and one of my one of my jobs was basically to you know diagnose somebody's tastes in poetry <laughs> and to help them find the poetry that they like. And when people would say, "Oh, I don't really like poetry," I'd say, "Nonsense! It's like saying you don't like yeah. music, and yeah. it really is." Yeah. Yeah. You just haven't found the poem you like. Yeah. Well, if I'll just say one more thing too yeah. about uh, about vision here. Yeah. I think uh, poetry is very exciting. I love poetry. Uh, I think it's one of our strengths on campus too. The students are really interested and excited by poetry. But I think we, um, you know, could do a better job of uh, collaborating uh, with you know art that doesn't break lines. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. um, so I think you know. Um, Building up some fiction and nonfiction, right? Of course. Um, yeah. And how that looks like across different, different kinds of fields of inquiry. I think it is important um, to to have a site of cultural exchange is very important, right? Um, so that we don't exist in a bubble. Um, it's not just though reaching out to the community and asking them to come to our events, but also showing up at theirs um, and seeing what we can do to help and. Um, and taking students in uh, into Chestertown at the, you know, the Kent um, County Poetry Festival. Yeah. Um, there's you know things happening at the gallery and yeah. um, you know like the, that kind of thing it, or or at the uh, at the Garfield for instance too, right? Which is a fabulous space yeah. that does a lot of really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that I don't think our students know much about at Washington College, and so it's really it, it's. Uh, I think the road needs to be paved both ways. Yeah. <laughs> both lanes need some work, you know. Yeah. Um, and I really.